Hi, Gavin Johnson with you again here. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate to you the Histoguide wire guided forceps. So we've already talked about cytology. We've used the infinity brush to sample a, a biliary stricture, but it's all about really increasing the likelihood of getting a diagnosis first time. So as well as brush cytology, the Histoguide really makes it more uh, accessible for practitioners, endoscopists to be taking direct biopsies of, of uh, lesions. The benefit of this device, not only is it flexible and manoeuvrable, but the beauty of it, it is, is wire guided. So I think anyone who's done a bit of ERCP would recognize that freehand cannulation of the more rigid forceps that we're used to using in colonoscopy can be very challenging because you've got a perpendicular angle as you're trying to cannulate with those forceps up the bile duct. Um, and even with pediatric forceps that are a little bit more flexible, um, that can be an issue, but you see how bendy these are. So it comes out the pack as is. Uh, we're going to straighten it out, check that the device is working. So the thumb ring away is going to open your forceps. So they start at 2.2 millimeters and then they open up to 8 millimeters. But be a little bit gentle with the handle. You don't want to overdo the, the spring loaded mechanism because the benefit of this is once we put the uh, slider back towards the thumb ring, the spring keeps them closed. So as you exit, um, your, your, the scope with that, the, the cups stay closed. And what you can see here also, and we're going to do a zoom up shortly, is the small plastic sheath which is the wire guided facet. So here's our wire across our stricture, that's locked in place. We're going to advance the forceps. We're going to have our elevator off at this point, let me just double check that's the case. And we're going to get them out of our scope, so we're looking at our luminal view at the moment. You'll feel them touch against the elevator, nice and gently. Okay, so now elevator off, have them exit the scope, and then elevator on. And they are wire guided, but you need to be aiming up towards 11, 12 o'clock of your prior sphincterotomy. You're probably gonna to wanna to have done a sphincterotomy to, for this, as well as with the infinity brush and we're then just going to follow the wire, straightening up that guide wire length, you're going to pop up into your bile duct towards the target. Keeping fluoroscopy on the whole time, we're going to open our forceps, we're going to use our cholangiogram to target the best bit of the stricture that you're keen on, and once you get a nice bit of resistance to the advancement of the forceps, we're going to close, and then really importantly, we need to take our elevator off again, so that we can, it won't obviously move this far in, in, a, in a patient, but we're gonna take the elevator off so that when I give a little pull, the, the, micro, the histoguide can um, give a little tug and not be hampered by the elevator. So we give a little pull and then it's just a standard exchange and away we go. And then it's a simple case of removing the forceps, opening that up over your um, standard histopathology pots swirling it around, making sure that there's no further sampling there, rinsing that and usually going again. The beauty of this is it's wire guided so you're not having to freehand cannulate time and again to get three or four specimens.